Boom. So it's your last day? Yep, last day. That's it. I'm done. You would be missed. I'm out of here. Don't come back. I've left a mess on the desk just for you guys to clean up. I don't even care. Guys, Jack is not leaving. He's just going for vacation. Yeah. So, farewell! Two weeks, so I'm gonna be taking over the channel for two weeks. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. So you stayed all night today. I did, I did. Jeez. I was up all night. Well, good luck. You're gonna have a nice sleep on the flight. It's my last page of my passport. And then I can't put any more stamps in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's funny how we are going into the vacation season in September, <laughs> even October almost. Jack is going for like, what, two weeks? Yeah. Yeah, going two weeks vacation. I'm doing like, four days vacation in about like a week so that's a first for me in like months <laughs> so that's gonna be fun i'm gonna respond to some of your comments guys why not we're gonna leave some hearts on the good comments so leave a good comment you get a heart on break vault video all right be nice <laughs>
is not here. I think he has some stuff to do outside. Jack is on vacation. Um, it means I'm the boss now, kind of, but I feel lonely, guys. Just me and millions of bricks. Well, I guess I'm the only one in the vlog today. Actually, I need to start moving stuff, to be honest. We, we have to move all the stuff away from the walls and transfer some of these sets to the warehouse. Reason being that uh, we're gonna have painters coming over here and fixing the walls and preparing this room for full display. I mentioned that numerous times in the vlogs, but it's actually happening. Oh, it's a bit of a mess now, but uh, let's get going. Let's get going. Uh, I, don't, I didn't sleep that well. <laughs> so, uh, Oh, I think that was Ramon coming in. I, I heard someone from the door. So basically these shelves, the old ones, uh, remember those shelves? Boom, from the um, old studio. Yeah, so we're gonna fix them up and they will serve as a transfer uh, place, placement for um, other sets until we get the full display room set up. Yeah, oh hi Ramon, I heard you come in. You can say hi to the camera. Hi! I'm just oh, talking about the shelves. We have the uh, shelving units, so yeah. I was using the previous studio. Uh, yeah. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, we want to like probably clear off the walls yeah. and give the painters like five, six feet of space at each wall. That corner looks terrible, by the way. Oh, yes. That's the idea. Maybe this room will stop looking so miserable. <laughs> Funny how we have like a room full of bricks, probably tens of thousands of bricks here, and it still looks bad. <laughs> as long as it, this, is, this is a mess, as long as those sets are not on the shelves, as long as they just lay on the floor like that, this will just look bad. Straight up. <gasps> Something's moving. Oh, just the cable. That's fine. I swear, like, this looks so much better than the Cloud City. Guys, this looks so much better. I, I can tell you because this vlog comes after the review. I'm working on the Cloud City today. Uh, we built the set a few days ago. Lego sent it to us, so thank you so much. Um, uh, it's a big set, so I'm trying to do a full review today. Yeah, I'm gonna get the set into the Lightroom and uh, start working on that. Some good news is that we're gonna be updating our Yavin 4 platform shortly. I saw Charlie working on some assets for this display, like crates and stuff. He was. Uh, I think he was trying to model them off uh, Battlefront, which had really good models for some of the assets on the Yavin map. Um, the X-Wing, uh, as, as cool as it looks, it's gonna look even cooler once we get him a proper landing pad. This is just a, like a template of our landing pad. It has some cables. It does have, let me see if that works. There we go. You can see it has some lights already, but uh, it's gonna be definitely much more fitted. It has some studs. <clears throat> to keep some equipment rolling around, create um, platforms for the pilots to enter their X-Wings on the platform and so on and so on. I think it's gonna be much bigger. Oh, basically, that's my favorite ship, so I'm kind of biased on this one. Yeah. That's what Jack did at some point and didn't even tell us. He's such a messy guy. <laughs> Oh, another day in the office, guys. That's the last day of this week's vlog. You know what? Don't tell Jack, but I kind of miss him when he's not in the office. It's like, just, it's so motivating to like, know that I'm not the only one working on videos. It's just, it's just a bit different, right? Why is it so bright? Yeah, he's gonna be probably back later, September, like 20 something, he's, he's flying back. So I hope he's having a great time. He actually really needed this vacation. So uh, for the ending of this vlog, I wanted to like get a throwback thingy in. Um, I'm just gonna grab a mock that I wanna talk about for a second because uh, many people saw it, but we have new viewers on the channel. So I really wanna show you one of my favorite mocks that we ever made, ever built. It's not our design, ever built on this channel check it out you just have to grab it from the corner it's really way in there with all the stuff on the floor give me a sec here we go 
Here it is. Okay, let's take a look. Haha, -ha, this popped open. Found it. This is uh, Mirko Sopelsa's UT60D U-Wing. And let me just quickly explain why I want to come back to this mock today. Now you see there are a few mocks in the studio that kind of made who we are right now with all the web store stuff and, and things that we have on display. Mirko's U-Wing was one of the most impressive mocks that we have built last year. It basically uh, set up the, the, the standard point for big UCS scale mocks. I know we do mostly minifigure scale mocks, but UCS is our favorite line of Star Wars and having that U-Wing here in the studio, I gotta say it was one of the most impressive mocks we have ever built and that pushed us forward to explore the mock world even more. <clears throat> I have no idea what this dragon is doing here. It's kind of cool, it's the smog from one of the Hobbit sets, I believe. And it's a bit broken now, I mean, it's not in the best of shapes, to be honest. Let me see if I can grab it. It's a massive thing here. Yeah, the wings are detached, but you can see the sheer scale of this ship. Mirko was designing this thing for quite a while. The UT60D U-Wing was one of my favorite ships from Rogue One. It was a really cool concept, and uh, when I first saw it, I dreamt of having a big set of that kind, a UCS one. And uh, I remember showcasing this in one of the top 10 logs videos, months before we were offered by Mirko to build it. And uh, skip, 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 few bricklink orders later, we managed to get this guy built. I keep coming back to it because like, really, it's just astonishingly good. I really hope we can build more stuff from him. He's in the works, don't worry. And uh, you can see how detailed it is, how like he made all those angles and all the cool stuff. He made the canopy from the UCS, I think, Red 5. Because the uh, interiors, the doors are a bit broken right now, but the doors open actually. It does, uh, you can like remove the cockpit, you can, the engines are just impressive uh, on its own. Look at the wing size. I'm gonna link the video below if you wanna check out the initial like uh, review of this mock. This one's gonna be the first we're gonna probably reassemble to make sure it's back in its full glory. Uh, yeah, many figures from Rogue One, from sets, really fun stuff. Trying to, to talk a bit about this mock because I think that's where we actually noticed that we love big mocks and we wanna do something about it. And the idea of the store, our web store at BrickBolt.toys was um, brewing at that point. It was not a reality yet, but that Ewing came to be about the time that we were really seriously thinking about the store. And it, I think, marked the path we took of building big mocks. Um, all right. And that is gonna be it for this week's vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it wasn't as much of an interesting vlog as I sometimes uh, make. <laughs> um, not, not much was happening in the studio actually. It's sometimes hard to make these vlogs where like we are, we are so focused on work and editing so hope you enjoy it still. Thanks so much for watching. It was Mike, no Jack, there was Jack in the beginning, yeah. Jack and Ramon in the Brick Vlog if you enjoy them. Of course leave a like and subscribe. Click that bell button if you want to support us. That's always appreciated to get notified when we make a new video. Thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time in the next video here at Brickwald. Bye bye! I didn't drop it, that's a success. Yeah, okay.